Howdy. So this video is about one bag travel. Um, part of the reason that I'm making this is for myself to have a reference. So I can just go back and see how I packed this because I just took a trip. The way that I packed it was uh, very effective. And uh, there's a lot of discussion on the internet about one bagging and uh, so I thought that I would just make this because sometimes on Reddit or wherever I've wanted to see how does someone actually pack their bag. Um, you know people have a lot of lists of items but sometimes it's nice to just see how somebody actually does it. This is the Tom Bin Synapse 25. They say it's 25 liters um, and uh, this was more than large enough for a trip that I just finished, which was around two months in uh, the Caribbean area, in Mexico, and also all over Costa Rica. So, um, relatively warm weather. Uh, I didn't actually, I barely even used my uh, warmest layer. Um, and there were things in this bag that I packed that I didn't need to. Um, so I, I haven't really unpacked this bag since we returned from the trip. So this is pretty much how the bag looks um, while traveling. The only things not in the bag um, I would be wearing. And on this trip I just wore shorts and uh, a button down shirt and shoes and uh, a hat. So. Uh, I've gotten pretty used to this bag now, and compared to some other bags that I've done one bag travel with, I really appreciate a bunch of the design. I wouldn't say that it's exactly perfect for every use case that I have, but I made it work. And so the way that I laid it out here, I would repeat again, there was very little room for improvement. So, uh, I'll start with the external compartments. This bottom compartment is really quite large. And the way that it works is there are these other front compartments and they're all kind of up here. If you can see that, it's, it might be hard. So anyway, in this bottom compartment, I carry food for me and some food for my lady as well, uh, as, far, as well as some other things. I carry this Z-Pax Dyneema pouch it's just like a snack bag, so I'll load this up with food. Um, there was so much food that fit in here, it's actually hard to believe. Um, it's, it's a really large space. Tom Bin also has attached three of these loop holes on the inside of this compartment. And so I use them for these um, utility organizing pouches. And then they have a keychain thing here. I just keep a shopping bag on this. Um, this is a 14 liter reusable shopping bag. It's by Nano Bag. It takes up almost no space. It's very, very lightweight for ever going out and getting groceries. So that's the bottom pouch. Um, <clears throat> top. Keep a 750 milliliter water bottle. Uh, this is considered disposable, it's, but I've used this one for what, eight months probably. Um, it's aluminum, it weighs almost nothing. You could get away with something wider in here, but you couldn't get away with anything taller than this because of the way that this is kind of set up, right? Um, something flat, like a flask, could work quite well. Here, uh, sometimes while I'm traveling, uh, I will put my cell phone right here for quick access. Uh, and this bag, by the way, fits under the seat of all the airplanes that we went on, so I didn't even have to stick in the overhead compartment. Uh, you can even orient it the wide way under the seat to give your feet a little more room. Uh, side pockets. There are two of these. Uh, this one, I keep a titanium spork, a Sharpie, permanent marker, and uh, toothpicks. 
These are Rove brand foldable glasses, and I put it prescription lenses for a short distance for when I'm bringing the computer. And uh, this is my tech organi organizer pouch, uh, which if anybody drops a comment and is interested, I give it uh, like a detail. Uh, working out very well. And on this side, um, I usually attach my keys. Over here, they have another one of these hook loops. A uh, pair of earplugs, extra, and also I put some um, like nausea medication in here for easy access for while traveling. Uh, extra glasses pouch for the glasses that I wear. I feel like taking them off. And then my charger and cable. This is a USB-C 65 watt uh, charger and a two meter cable. And this does almost everything that I need. In the tech pouch, I also have like a, pro, I don't know, like a half a meter, really small cable. That's USB-A, USB-C as well. And those are all the cables I have um, for everything. And I, I do work remotely, and this works great for me. And uh, then the main pouch. Again, this bag wasn't even full on this trip at all. Um, could have squeezed more in here. Um, and the way that I laid it out is really helpful. And so this is part of what I want to remember and share with you guys. So uh, on the front of the bag is an internal sleeve. And in here I have my laptop, which is also in a Tom Bin um, sleeve. And I have this little Dyneema waterproof or DCF waterproof pouch. I put my e-reader in here. I have another journal in here. And uh, if I pick up paper or receipts or whatever that I want to carry with me along the way, I put them in here. So those fit right in the front of the bag. And then I have a hip pouch and that sits in the top of the bag. So while I'm traveling, this is under the seat or on a, I'm on a bus or whatever, I just open this up and I can get to every single part of this pouch. So I'll keep my cell phone, if it's not in the front of the bag, I'll keep it in the back of here. In here I usually have Bluetooth headphones, change purse, sometimes I'll put that shopping bag up in here. Um, and then in this front pouch, I keep another notebook, some earplugs, uh, whatever. So. The ergonomics are great, you know, so I've got this bag. It doesn't look weird or, uh, you know, like you're a traveler. I don't have an extra bag on my front or a pouch. So I put that hip pouch in here, boom, uh, I can access all that stuff. And uh, this pouch, by the way, is uh, Hyperlite Mountain Gear, also DCF, waterproof. And uh, depending on the situation, when, you know, so we go to the hotel or the Airbnb, whatever, unpack, taking a walk around town. If I don't want to carry the whole bag, I'll carry this. So this is a nice modular setup because I use this in the bag while traveling, but then I also have this to, to walk around and um, carry a bunch of stuff for being in town, super handy. Uh, and again, it's waterproof which is nice because you can walk around with your cell phone or whatever and not worry about getting wet. So the next thing I have in this bag here is my toiletry kit, um, which I could go with a smaller one. Um, I think it's Eagle Creek. This thing weighs almost nothing. Um, so this worked out very well. And then uh, below that I have a packing cube. And I, I orient it um, kind of this way and it squeezes in the bag. There's only one piece of clothing in here that I took out to wash since, since I came home, but pretty much all of my clothes that I'm not wearing, actually all the clothes I'm not wearing, they fit in here. Um, and I can do a separate video on how I pack clothing and 
select clothing um, in another video. And then finally at the very bottom of the bag, I've got these, uh, these are my sandals and I keep them just in a Tyvek bag. So uh, those go on the bottom because I rarely access them while we're on the move. So say that we get somewhere, we get to town, um, and I want to be able to walk around and maybe carry a little bit more than just that hip pouch. Well, I take out those items that I just showed you, and I can keep the laptop in or not, depending on if we're going to, to do work or whatever. And now I leave all of these other compartments as they are. I almost never unpack them unless I'm using the items. And then you go to a coffee shop, you want to plug in your computer or whatever, it's right there. So I like the way that this bag is because I can take out the bulk of the weight and volume, which are my clothes, the toiletry kit, and the footwear that I'm not wearing, take it out, and now the bag is, is ready to roll. So anyway, uh, I hope that's helpful. Uh, definitely, uh, again, I'll keep this for reference, and if you have any questions, just let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks very much. And